Hi, I'm Liz Larson, back with some cake decorating basics. So I had a request for a First Communion cake, or a cake that would work for Easter. So it's perfect, perfect timing, spring's coming. So today we're going to do a cross cake with calla lilies and a stargazer lily. Let's get started. We're going to start with the design, the spray on the top of the cross. And I just want to show that sometimes I actually sketch them out so I know where my placement is and how many flowers ahead of time. I encourage you to do that. It's a great way to lay out your design before you get started. So I've got a bag here just um, full of some green, just cut to a number four tip. And what I want to do is lay out the basic design here. What I'm going to do is start with a loose S. So I'm going to start in this corner and just drop my line move to the other corner and back this way to create a loose S. That's basically my design. I want this to be the center of my design. It's really important to decide where your center is. Next I've got my green and I've got a number 352 leaf tip in here but you could actually cut a parchment to get the same thing. You see it's just a V. This is the foliage for my stargazers and my callus. So there's a the foliage you see that's a long strip. So basically what I'm going to do is follow this line. I've got my bag stripped so I've got some variegation of color and I'm going to pull away from myself here to get that one. Make sure you get a nice tip on there. So there's my base. I want to pull out from there and my next leaves are going to be progressively shorter and angle away. But I want to follow my same line. We'll do the same on this side. Now, if you're not so good at piping away from yourself, just simply turn your cake towards yourself. In fact, I would really recommend doing that. Okay? So now we've got our basic spray down. We want to pull a couple out to the other side, this way, and this. Now, we want to continue the theme of our cross and come out to the side and this side. This is going to balance our spray and give a base for under our stargazer. Now, I'm going to leave it here with the leaves, but you can actually add a lot more if you wish. Okay, I've got my bag, green bag again, and I want to just pull a couple more strands out this way with this, because I'm going to add some Lily of the Valley in here, and I want those down beforehand. So one there, one there, maybe one here for balance and maybe one here. Now don't be afraid to go on top of your foliage there because we're building layers and layers. Next we're going to do our callas. I'm going to start with my callas and I want to mark them so I want my tallest one here, my next one here, and my next one here. I'm going to mark on this side again, tallest one here. We're working in threes, which gives us nice balance. Okay. Now before I start my callas, I want to do just these quick lily of the valley, which is just a little, just a little C shape there. The action that I'm using for my bag is just basically the same that I might use for a a straight shell, just a squeeze, let it build and release, squeeze, let it build and release. Next we're going to start our callus. We're going to be basically parallel to our to our cake to start. Begin to squeeze and pull it around to our question mark. Now, I've got a ruffled edge there, which means that the end of my tip is not quite clean. So I'm going to wipe that. Get the next one there. 
Now, if you want more detail about how to make these, I've got a whole video just for that. For now, I just want you to get the design, how we're laying them out. So we want to get our stamen in. Just got a bag here, cut to a number four. We're going to do a squeeze, let it build, and release to a tip. Squeeze, let it build, and release to a tip. While I'm here, I'm going to give just a little tiny stamen to my Lily of the Valley. Just a light squeeze and release. Just adding one more layer of color and depth. We're going to lay down the pads for our stargazer. This is really quite a large flower and it's going to fill up this whole center. Remember that these are just the under pads to give our flower the height and depth that we want. I'm going to move that one over just a touch. There we go. And I'm going to start flat one way, come to a point, and rock back. Now, since we're working on the table, and I have a turntable, I have the luxury of turning my whole cake, getting to the right angle, and laying down the next flower. Actually, the next petal. And I'm starting to get the nice striping that I want, which is good. And there we go. There are three base petals. We'll move in and do the next three. And again, if you want more on this flower, we'll have a full tutorial. Making sure we get a nice point in the beginning and the end. And there we go. There are the petals for our stargazer. So I've got my skewer, a very sharp skewer, just dipping it here in the color. And I'm going to give my stargazer the freckles here. You can also use a very fine paintbrush if you want to. You can even thin down the color if you wish. I just like to do it this way. It's fast and easy, and I don't have to look for a paintbrush. I know I have one here somewhere. I just have no idea where. And there we go. There are freckles on our stargazer. So next, I want to pull the stamen with my yellow. It's just squeeze, build, and release. You can get them nice and tall. You can do either three or five, and I'm going to do just three here. And there you go. There's your stamen. Next, I want to get in here and finish up my uh, callas. I want to put, this is just the base of the stem. It also rounds out this question mark. It's a squeeze and let it build. Let it build and come down. You're just giving it a stem. Now, this cake could also be done without the stargazer and just a bouquet of callas, which would be very pretty. Lots of occasions that would be good for. I'm going to come back in with my number 124 with some pink, and I'm actually just going to do a little a sweet pea effect, kind of like a bud. And I'm going to do one here. We want to balance out our color. Our stargazer is so strong colored that we want to give it just a little bit of balance here. And we want these to be fairly small and not too many. Let's see if we can get away with just two on each side. I'm going to bring the green up the back. And as you do your cake, you want to watch for balance. Watch to make sure that there are not too many of two thing, too many things or too few. I want to do just a little extra here, a couple of dots. 
follow the line of my leaves there. You're going to do large dots down to small dots just for a little extra there in your foliage. And you guys know me, there's always more I could put on. But I'm going to leave it at that. While we're here, I just want to talk about a couple of elements of design. Of course, this could be done, the same design could be done with roses or any of the flowers that you actually know how to do. And of course, we could add things to the side or more around. But usually for these cakes, we want to go with a little bit sleeker, a little bit more simple design. A little less is more generally on a cross cake. Also, I want you to notice that this isn't exactly centered. It's off to, this, to the side, and that's perfect for a couple reasons. One, it's more interesting to the eye. Two, you also can leave this space here for writing congratulations if it's a First Communion or Happy Easter or whatever you wish. So if you're going to do that, be a little bit mindful of where your um, uh, foliage goes and if you need to leave some space. So to my viewer who needed a First Communion cake, I really hope this fits the bill for you. It really is a nice cake for Easter. I've actually even used this one for a funeral before. It's a great design, pretty versatile, but only kind of for this time of year, unless you're using it for a funeral. So if you want to see more of my designs, meet me at www.theartoffrosting.blogspot.com. Don't forget to subscribe. As always, it's free. And there's a ton more to come. We'll see you again soon. And meet me up at Facebook. Talk to you then.